Despite the intense heat of Louisiana summers, we still like to get outside and spend time in our outdoor living areas, like our porches, patios, and decks. Enhancing those areas with pots of beautiful blooming plants is a wonderful thing to make those areas even more special to spend time in. And planting combination containers is all the rage these days. Now you can buy them already made at the nursery. Many nurseries have a wide selection of containers for you to choose from created all ready to go for you, or you can do them yourself, and there are a few simple rules to follow if you're going to do a combination planter yourself. Here's a nice one that's just been planted and shows you that when they're first planted, oftentimes there's going to be some space between the plants. That gives them room to grow, and that's important. Now this has three, and that's a classic number for container plants. You want to choose one plant that's going to be the star, like this wonderful cone flower here, this powwow cone flower. It's going to be the highest plant and really grab a lot of attention. Then you need something like this lantana that's going to provide the bulk of the planting, a mounding sort of spreading plant, and finally a plant that's going to cascade down over the side. Somebody coined the terms a thriller, a filler, and a spiller, and that's a great way to remember the rules of putting these things together. Now looking at some of these planters around me, make sure you choose plants that like the same growing conditions. This begonia and dichondra, for instance, like the shade. Over here we have this artemisia and alternanthra that like a sunny situation, as does this plumbago and taurinia. So do make sure that the plants that you combine together like either shady or sunny conditions all together and keep them well watered through the summer. You'll have a great time with them. Forget it growing. I'm Dan Gill with the LSU Ag Center.